morning everybody welcome back to my channel i was thinking that for today's video we could just spend the day together i have a few little errands that i need to do today i wanted to give you guys a reading update talk about my march tbr i need to go work out i want to stretch so yeah i just thought it would be fun to film a little day in the life vlog eric and his parents actually are out of town this week normally it's me who's out of town but this week they are all out of town so that's why you will just just see me in today's video but you will of course also see miss luna who is just sitting here by the window chilling she loves sitting here looking out the window i'm gonna go to the gym real quick just to do a little bit of cardio and then we can get the rest of our day started about to make a protein shake and I'm gonna drink this while I get ready to head out I have just a few things that I need to go do but this is the protein shake that I have been drinking pretty much every day for the last long time I don't even know how long but this is just what I like to do so personally I like almond milk and then I usually fill a cup about maybe five six ounces I don't do a lot of milk. And then I do one serving of the Vital Proteins Collagen. Yeah, it's called Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. It's good for your skin, hair, nail, and joint support. And it has 20 grams of collagen peptides and 18 grams of protein. I do one serving, which is two of the scoops. So I put that in there. And what's nice about this is it's flavorless. So you wouldn't even know if you're putting it in anything. I have friends who put it in their coffee. You could put it in a smoothie. You could put it in a protein shake like I do. And then personally, I like the Alani New protein powders. This one was like their Halloween special and I got it on sale, probably because it's not Halloween. <laughs> but uh, this flavor is everything but the cauldron. I really like this one. Some of the other flavors that I think are good too are the cookies and cream one that they have and I think they have like a birthday cake one that was pretty good and then I also liked the fruity cereal one so I just do one scoop of that into my shaker cup mix it all up and there is a protein shake so this has da, 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 let me find it 22 grams of protein so 22 plus 18 i'm really not good at math 22 plus 10 32 add 8 40. okay so there you go so 40 grams of protein in just a shake which is a lot so if you are someone who's trying to get your protein intake up honestly a shake is the easiest way to do it I just finished getting ready. Here is my outfit for the day. This shirt is from Buff Bunny. These jeans are from Target. These shoes are Nikes and they are from Kohl's. Only thing I need to do is also throw a jacket on. Okay, and here's the coat. This is fluffy, warm, soft. I love it and I got this from Costco. I'm one of those people where I never leave the house to go do something even if it's to like run errands. Well, except for the gym. I don't do this for the gym. But anytime I go do something, I always have to do a little spritz of perfume. I don't know, something about it just makes me feel like I'm actually ready. This perfume is called Into the Night by Bath and Body Works. My mom gave me this one. Okay, where is it? I know I have it, I know I have it. Oh, yay, okay, found it right here. So we are gonna go downtown because I need to get a nude colored strapless bra to wear with my bridesmaid dress for my bestie Tiffany's wedding. I could go to like a Victoria's Secret or something like that, but I found this cute little boutique shop downtown that is like a Victoria's Secret and when I can I prefer to shop local so I'm gonna go there to look for that and then I also remembered that at the Doylestown bookshop because I'm part of their frequent reader club I think it's just like their point system or whatever because I bought this behemoth of a book um, Sarah J Mass's House of Flame and Shadow I earned enough points with that purchase and previous purchases for a $10 gift card. Since I'll be downtown anyway, I figured we might as well stop at the bookstore too, just to see if anything catches our eye, especially since I have the gift card. Okay, so let's head downtown, and actually my goal is to try to make this a pretty quick trip because I wanna beat the rain, and also I don't like leaving Luna here by herself for long periods of time.
I'm back from shopping now. I got the bra that I needed, so that is awesome. And of course, I had to pick up a book at the bookstore. I got this book, Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. And you guys, this series, like the Magnolia Parks series has been on my radar for probably the past year. I don't know why I just haven't actually like committed to reading the series or buying any of the books. And I do wish now that I would have bought at least the first book or maybe the first few last year when they had the different covers because I liked the old covers better than the new ones, but I do still like this cover. Like it's nice and shiny. It's a nice floppy paperback, but I am really excited to finally have this book in my possession so that way I can actually start the series soon. Oh no. <laughs> My camera fell, so you guys are at a different angle now, but to be honest, I don't know a lot about this series other than I've seen like TikToks, YouTube videos, Instagram reels, etc. of people just absolutely obsessed with the series as a whole and it like makes them cry. I've heard the writing is beautiful, so I definitely want to give it a try. I have heard that these books are very similar to Gossip Girl and I loved, loved the show Gossip Girl. So I think this will be a fun series to read. And then I also thought I would take a minute to talk to you guys about some of the other books that are on my radar and my TBR to read in March. So to start this month off, I am doing a little bit of a novella challenge where basically I'm just reading a bunch of different novellas and you guys will find out what those specific novellas are when that video comes out. Of course, I am also going to read Recursion by Blake Crouch because that is my book club's pick for the month. My mom is a teacher and when she is on spring break this month, we are going to buddy read this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous book called A Fate Inked in Blood. I mean, can we just look at how shiny and beautiful this cover is? Also, look at these blue metallic spray painted edges. It is just so shiny and pretty and I love it. And like this shade of blue is my favorite color. So when I saw this, I was immediately like, I have to get this. And then also when you open up the book, look how beautiful this blue is. And then the cover of the book is also really cool. So it's imprinted right here, the symbol, and then it just says like a fate inked in blood in the blueprint right there. So gorgeous book. I don't know much about this other than that it is a Viking romance fantasy book which I have never read anything like that before. So super excited to get to this one. And then the other book, let me grab it, that is absolutely on my radar to read in March is This Book Bride by Allie Hazelwood. All I know is that it is a, like a paranormal romance between a vampire and a werewolf shifter, which just sounds awesome. Next thing that I absolutely need to do today is some laundry. And I also want to get some editing done on my laptop. I got done all of the work that I needed to get done today, which always feels so good, like when you actually get everything done <laughs> that you need to. And then I took a shower, washed my hair. I'm feeling good. I think Luna is ready for dinner. Oh, yes, she is. All right, let's go. Let's go feed Luna dinner. I am going to go feed Luna dinner. And then what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, I want to make a tea. And then tonight is the season finale of Love is Blind, which we are absolutely gonna watch. And then I'm not super hungry yet, so I'm thinking I'll watch a little bit of Love is Blind, make myself dinner, and then watch the rest. Luna is chowing down on her dinner now. I love this specific tea, so I'm going to make this in my favorite dragon mug. All right, here we go. Luna, are you excited? It's time for the latest episode of Love is blind. Boom, here we go. I made some tortellini with chicken and we're gonna get back to the show. Luna is so funny. This is her part of the couch. She loves laying right here and hanging over the edge. Just like this. This is how Luna likes to lay down on the couch. After I finished watching Love is Blind, I was so tired. I went straight to bed and without giving away any spoilers, all I will say is that this was definitely like the most toxic season of Love is Blind yet. 
and also I was not surprised with how it all ended. But I'm going to conclude today's video here and just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video, for hanging out with me and Miss Luna. If you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you again in future videos. I hope that you all are having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time.